Hi, after many months of inactivity, I thought to restart my YouTube channel by showing you a very exciting video about how to make a functioning pulse jet engine. Now, in the pulse jet engine that I designed, I use this kind of soda can. But as you know, these type of can, of course, they have outer coating, but inside there is also another coating. And because that experiment involves high heat, these coating will gradually evaporate and it produces a film and it's, it's not very pleasant if you turn on this engine indoor then it will create a really bad smell at home and you don't want to inhale it then i told myself instead of making the pulse jet engine i'm gonna make a burner that basically burns the outer and inner coating and after that we have a can that is all the coatings are gone so we can use it in the pulse jet engine and it will not produce any bad smell so I made the design of the burner, everything was there. As the heat source, I wanted to use one of these penny can alcohol stove. So many years ago, 12, 13 years ago, I watched a YouTube video and followed the instruction. I made this stove, basically. I found it from my storage room and I turned it on and I wanted to use in this burner. But the problem is this one produces a very large flame. Also, the flame is orange and yellow. So I didn't like it. So I made another one. And again, I tried this. I tried with bioethanol, this type of ethanol. And uh, again, the color of this is not completely blue. It's a lot of orange and yellow in it. So I made multiple iterations because I have a lot of these soda cans. I usually don't throw them away. I always believe that one day I'm going to use them for a science experiment. And today was that day. So I tried multiple configuration to figure out what is the impact of number of holes and the size of these holes. And I think I figured it out already, um, which I'm going to share it with you. But there are, of course, hundreds of these videos available on YouTube. Everybody has made one. Uh, there are a few points that maybe are new and you can learn from the video. Originally, I made the hole using this type of pin. It's very easy. You just press them. It works fine. But the size of this pin, the diameter is 1.2 millimeter. And uh, because the diameter is too large, what happens here is that originally you heat the can and the alcohol inside will vaporize. And because there is an alcohol vapor, it comes out, the jets of fuel will come out. It mixed with oxygen and then we have the, the flame here. But if we have too much fuel, the oxygen is less. So the fuel will not burn completely and therefore the flame will be yellow. So I thought, okay, I have to reduce the size of these pins. And uh, yeah, I tried multiple sizes. For example, this is half a millimeter. And then uh, this one is 0 0.7 millimeter. And eventually I figured out that, okay, 0 0.7 millimeter is very good. This type of round headed pin, the one that I have, the size is 0 0.7 millimeter. And also doing needle, I don't know where I have. They have different sizes, but uh, for example, this one is 0 0.7 millimeter, and we can use them to create the holes in, in this can. Of course, if you have a drill bit, that is the easiest one, but then, like this type of uh, drill bit, but then it's also likely that if you are not careful, you can break the drill bit and uh, it can hit your hand. So, you see, this is the sign I tried with one 0. Uh, five millimeter and I was not very careful. I broke the dr drill bit. Anyway, I will show you how to create hole with this type of pin or with the sewing needle. Okay, so to create the holes, we are going to use this type of can. These are a small soda can, as you can see. Now, you you are going to use zero point seven millimeter um, sewing needle. This one. They are hard and uh, these ones, the round headed pins, they are soft pins. Uh, so when we apply pressure, this can bend, this can break. In any case, it's extremely important that you use um, safety glasses. This is very important. It can break and it comes to your eyes. So you don't want to have that. So wear that one. If you use these ones, probably after one or two holes, you have to change the needle because the tip will be destroyed. And uh, this one, if it breaks, then you have to change it. Okay, so now how can we create a hole? So that is the most important part of the video. Okay, so you hold the plier like this, only the tip of it, a little bit of it should be 
available. We are going to create a number of holes based on my experiment. 14 holes is a good uh, number for these uh, small cans. So I'm going to create 14 holes. Take one of them here and wear your safety glasses. This is important. The hard needle will likely to break. So we create one hole there. You go to the opposite side. Of course, if you have a ruler or something to mark it, then everything will be equally spaced. That is the perfect, but here I'm going to do it by just looking at it. The opposite side. Then we go in the center, but a little bit up. We create one. Center. A little bit down. We create one. And then two on each side. Only the tip of the needle should be available here, otherwise the needle will break. And then later on, we are going to enlarge the holes. So two here, six here, six here, six, six, two, that's 14. Needle. Okay, so initial holes are created. Now we have to move it a little bit back and basically enlarge the hole. Do it very gently and do it multiple times so, so that all the holes have the same size. Do not rush. You have plenty of time in life. Otherwise, you break the needle. And you can also hurt yourself. Difficult to capture video and do the work. Acting is a little bit difficult for me. When you do it alone, that is much easier without the camera. Okay, so one round I enlarge them and then we do it once more. All right, so now this is done. Actually, the most important part is done. The second step is to create a hole at the center of these. I use a drill bit that is two millimeter. I'm gonna create a hole here, right at the center. This is done. The next step is to cut the can. We're going to use a knife and then you use a scissor to because you should wash the can before you do this uh, now i have to wash this i don't wash it okay so you cut such that you have maybe three centimeter three and a half centimeter here you can use a guide to make a height all all the way equal but i'm just doing with my eyes so it's okay not that important to be that accurate. Okay, so we have this one. It's not very equally um, sized, but it's okay. I'm going to wash this and come back. All right, so now I wash this and clean this. We have the main part. We need to use some absorber. We need to use some fiberglass. Now, do not use a uh, foam or polyester or whatever else because the stove will get hot and they will release fume also. This fiberglass obviously will not release any fume even if it is hot. But also maybe wear a mask when you do this. It produces some particles when you break it. Um, so be careful. You put the fiberglass inside and then you take Another can, a clean can. 
here what we are going to do is to press it inside this we do it very gently otherwise it will ring it okay like this you basically gradually press it you know in front of camera it's difficult because my hands are not in the correct position but basically you have to do it like this okay so now this is completely in very tight nothing can leak and it's very good and then we are going to cut the top part okay so then we are going to remove the extra pieces you don't need to actually cut till the end that is why this bend is created if you cut it a little bit above it but anyway you will basically have something like this it's completely sealed it's very nice nothing will leak even if you bend the can all right, so now is the moment of the truth. We have to check if or can produces uh, blue color, or at least relatively blue color. So I'm going to use bioethanol, and maybe first we put the can away, or it here, because the center hole is very small. It takes a bit of time to absorb the ethanol okay remove the bottle put it far away you don't want to keep it close to your experiment turn off the light let's see how it looks like okay didn't work we have to add a little bit more ethanol it should be hot and then it can start producing vapor of the fuel and then it will run even the second round i think the amount of uh, ethanol inside is not enough so that's why it is very not collaborating <laughs> i think i could already make my stuff using one of these <laughs> it doesn't turn on come on show us something well this is not the best thing we expect some of them why they are not turning on come on turn on some holes I think they are not properly open. Alright, so this is the best thing that I managed to make. It's beautiful, I, I agree, but it's not completely blue. And uh, after a lot of uh, changing the size, changing the distance, uh, still I couldn't manage to get it completely blue. Later, I realized that the ethanol that I use is not a pure ethanol, it's 95% ethanol and the rest is impurity, maybe water, other things. And because of that, the mixture of ethanol vapor and the oxygen will not burn completely and therefore the flame will not be 100% blue. And uh, this is what we have, but it's still beautiful. Okay, so now I can use this burner in my next video to show you how to remove the inner and outer coating of a cooler can for the pulse jet engine that you will see in the future video. Alright, see you next time. Bye.